Hello everyone, my name is PJ and welcome back to my Let's Play of Fallout Part 18. I am so sorry about my absence this past week. I know it's been a long time since the last Fallout video. It's just, I have had a lot on my mind, a lot has been going on, I've had a lot of stuff I've had to think about and deal with. And I have all day. I want to finish this game today. I don't care how long it takes. I'm going to finish this game, and once the series is complete, I'm probably going to be taking a break from doing Let's Plays. I'm still going to do my 2P series with Tyler, but after this, I just need to relax. I haven't drawn anything in weeks. I haven't been doing my Japanese lessons. I have a lot of stuff that I need to get caught up on so let's just do it let's just finish this game now since the last episode i did do a lot of level grinding as you can see i left the military base and just killed all of the super mutants that were outside i got a lot more ammo for my minigun i raised my big guns skill to 85 percent which is damn good I mean, it's one level away from reaching 100, but I'm probably not going to reach that. I made it all the way to level 16, I have 110 hit points, and I got the Quick Pockets skill, which reduces the number of action points needed to access my inventory by one. So now I think it costs two. And that's it. That's basically all I was able to get. I mean, I'm sure with enough patience and tenacity I can easily reach level 21 which is the max level, but I don't think I need it. Don't think I need it, so we're just gonna head right back on in. Now, I don't know if I saw this in the previous episode or after I reloaded the game to go level grinding, but all of the normal barrier gates... Hmm? Wait, it disabled on its own. All I did was point at it. What? Well, anyway, um, these yellow gates have all activated, but they're really easy to deal with. All you gotta do is use the uh, repair skill. Uh, there it goes again. It disappeared. Why does it keep doing that? Well, either way, you gotta be fast because it'll come back on after a short time. Let's just run on through. Uh, nope, nope. And my allies are going to be idiots, of course. You know, I really should have just told them to stay still. Yeah, they're all just gonna get hurt. Why do you prioritize the red barriers over the yellow one? You wouldn't walk to the yellow one, but... God fucking damn it. Okay, well, here's what I'm gonna do. Just to protect them. Uh, actually, no, that's a bad idea, because if I leave the map, then they'll leave. Do I even need them? You know what? This is the last episode. I've already kind of looked up what the last mission all entails. So, this is the last dungeon. It's not supposed to be the last dungeon, but I kind of made a boo-boo in killing Morpheus early. It's fine, you can do it in either order, really. Okay, so I'm just gonna hit the number eight, which shortcuts to the repair skill. So you use it on these little emitters, and it disables the force field for a short time. But not these red ones. I do not know how to disable the red ones. So, I'm just gonna walk on through. Hopefully I can get through and activate all of this before too many of them hurt themselves. Okay, floor two. From what I've heard, floor two is useless. It just has a bunch of loot on it. So you don't have to go there. Going straight to floor three. Now, these guys are already out. Because the alarm is off. They're ready for us. They're waiting for us. Although, there appear to be significantly less of them than before. You're the one that was walking around before. You're the guy who's just guarding this place all the time. Uh, let me activate sneak. And I'm just gonna... Get out my minigun and... Well, that didn't work. Grr, he says. Uh, 
Yeah, they might die. Or they might just go after me. That's cool too. But this power armor is so amazing. It makes me practically immune to everything. I take so little damage. Oh, there's another one there. I didn't even see you. And now you're dead. You know what? I'm just going to get closer so that you focus on me. Critically missed and lost the rest of her ammo. Whatever. Reload. Wait, am I out of ammo for that? Oh shit, I didn't realize I was so low on that kind of ammo. Really? Oh no, that's not good. Oh, well, maybe I can steal more from these guys. I could have sworn I had tons left. Well, whatever. Get you missed. There we go. Ah, oh, the minigun is so good for just instantly killing everything. And dog meat's dead. Yeah, dog meat killed himself in the doorway. Ah, oh, poor dog meat, but nothing I can do. Okay, this guy's got a minigun. Just gonna take all the ammo from that. Wait, I have plenty of ammo for my minigun, don't I? Huh. Weird. Ah, oh, poor dog meat. Whatever. I'm probably going to be the only survivor. There's no way I could have sent Dogmeat home. He doesn't listen to me. Hmm? Oh, right. There's traps here. Traps that I actually managed to dodge completely the first time I entered this area. This whole big suspicious room. It's full of traps. Let's see if my low-ash trap skill have any effect here. Wait, how, how does this work? Do I just click on a space to search for traps? Or... What? You fail to find any traps. Do I just have to keep using it or <sighs> whatever? You no, know what? I'm just gonna keep walking. But the objective, since this elevator is broken, is to get to that elevator. Simple, right? Yeah, of course it is. Give me just a second while I use stem packs on all these guys. There, yeah, everyone's fully healed. Now just make a second save. Sneak over to this barrier here. Make sure that I'm in everyone's way so that they can't get past me. And just shoot that guy with a minigun. Like so. Easy. Okay, then I'll end combat. Hit the number eight. Fiddle with this thing. And walk on through. Now I better examine this guy real quick. Now you just, you don't have the same gun as me. I'm just gonna walk closer to you. So that my allies don't get in the way. Go ahead, shoot me with whatever. I don't care. Bam, you're dead. Easy. See, these guys are so easy now that I have the power armor. Aw, flower. Oh, he was a gentle super mutant. And now he's dead. Okay, now I want to try something. What happens if I talk to this lady when all the super mutants are dead? Actually, first I want to try talking to her. While wearing the purple robes. Look at me, wearing robes and walking around with a minigun. I'm a glass cannon. Oh my god, you killed him! Uh, he was my enemy, I had to kill him. You didn't have to kill him. She sobs, leave me alone. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, okay then. Don't really know the story of that, but... He would have killed me anyway, right? You know what, I just saved. I, I really want to see what happens. Fiddle with this and walk inside. Oh, talking to him immediately makes him hostile. Okay. And now you're dead. I'm just gonna reload. Can I end combat? 
Okay. Now are you going to turn hostile? Oh. No. So, a human. This is very interesting. You will come with me to the lieutenant or you will perish right here. Okay, I give up. Let's go. I'm really starting to hate this place. Um, Lieutenant oh, oh, this is excellent. You know, I actually doubted my officers when they said they'd captured a prime normal. It is so nice to see you. What a refined accent you have. And also another familiar voice actor that I can't place the name of. See, what do you want with me? Why, when you become one of us, of course. I can't have a perfectly good prime normal and not make it one of the chosen ones, now can I? After you tell me where your vault is. Yeah, I remember this. If you... I read about this. If you tell him where the vault is, you get a bad ending. Let's do it. On one condition. Conditions? How delightful. Go ahead, amuse me with your condition. I want to go free, put a bag over your head so I can stand being in your presence. Well, I want to be able to ask you some questions first. I want to go free. What a splendid sense of humor. Pity I don't have one. So, the location of your vault, if you please. Uh, it's a... Uh, it's a... Uh... Oddly enough, I do believe you do not intend to tell me. We'll have to correct that. You didn't even give me a chance. I wanted to tell you. Uh, okay. You just punched Feel me. Feel better <laughs> now? Since torture is such a crass, yet oddly satisfying and effective technique, I'll ask you once more. Nicely. Where is the vault? You win. It's across the mountains to the west. Wait, west? No. It's to the east. I'll draw you a map, okay? Excellent. I believe you understand. So you're sure you want to tell where the vault is? Torture can be so... Enjoyable. Yes, I'm sure. Is that me? <laughs> you all deserved it. Oh wow, the officer had machine guns on that thing? I guess I would have found out the hard way if I'd attempted to attack him.
God damn, you know, they put a lot of effort into that bad ending. <laughs> uh, what, what is it with games and having bad endings that are almost always superior to the good ending? I don't know, but let's go back in. You know, I just realized the citizens of Vault 13 would be terrible torture subjects. They'd be trying to interrogate them. Tell me about Vault 13. I don't know anything about that. <laughs> Tell me about Vault 13. I don't know anything. Yeah, because, you know, they never, they never know anything about anything you ask them. Fucking tell me about feature is completely useless. Why did it turn back on? I didn't reactivate it. There. Cannot do that in combat. Man, you're so goddamn picky. There. Everyone come on through. Let's see. A human. Okay. I give up. Let's go. Your lieutenant doesn't scare me. You know, I actually doubted my officers when they said they'd captured a prime normal. What do they mean by prime normal? I guess they mean somebody with absolutely no mutations or radiation due to my upbringing in the vault. Huh. Go to hell. Yes, you do have a way with words, don't you? And words are what we want. Before. You won't get anything from me. Oh. How commendable. Enough foolishness. Where is your vault? Yeah, I'm not chilling. We shall see, won't we? Oh, just gonna punch me again. You know what? I'm just gonna walk away. Actually, how about this? Who are you? A member of the Children of the Cathedral. Huh. Oh, I guess that Children member is probably an enemy. Probably. I think there was. I think they were accidentally hit. Well, accidentally or not, Van Hagen it was killed. Oh well. Still not worried. Don't shoot each other, come on. It's the final boss. Okay, just gonna open up my inventory real quick. Use as many of these as I want. It's like using potions in Skyrim. Just shove them all into me. Okay. Wow, still not dead. I only did four damage to you. God damn. Okay, well, I'm going to move over here. So that you guys are less likely to hit my allies. The other talent still isn't dead yet. He took 41 damage from that. And he just used four stem backs. That's not fair. Oop, is he dead? No, just knocked down. That guy is resilient. He's probably the toughest enemy in the entire game. Don't tell me I missed. Two damage? Two damage. No, your rocket launcher doesn't really do much to me. I just dread the day you actually, you know, get, land a critical hit. That's gonna be a sad day. Stop shooting Ian! Oh yeah, I gave Ian the, um, Desert Eagle. Or did I give him something else? I forget. I upgraded his gun. Excuse me while I use more stem packs. Really? Ian was accidentally hit for a hundred hit points. How do I accidentally hit someone for a hundred hit points? Whatever. He was getting in the way.
Honestly, Ian, you've been nothing but a nuisance since the day I met you. Always running away when you're low on health instead of using stim packs. Always accidentally shooting me and my dog. Fuck you. And now Tycho's dead. Tycho was... Mm, Tycho was always prone to death. Honestly, Katya is the only reliable party member I've ever had. <laughs> I can't remember a single time where she'd actually died. You know, I should probably go up to these guys first. Forty damage? Okay. Reload. I should probably also try and stick close to the lieutenant so that those rockets hit me. Cat, you was just hit for 36 damage. Now she's running away. You have stem packs. Use them. I really don't get the companion AI in this game. Whatever. Thirty-five damage. Hmm. Mr. Handy. Oh, hello. Ooh, a bunch of children over there. Oh, that must be the... That must be the dipping chamber. Where we just saw me in the bed ending. Technician. Technician. Just technicians. Uh, no one important. This, uh... Van Hagen person was probably important, and I didn't even get the chance to speak to him. Because his own allies killed him. By accident, mind you. But, eh. Whatever. What? Fucking crits. Now I gotta do all that over again. Look how much fucking damage that just did. The darkness of I had over a hundred hit points. In power armor. I think crits just ignore all defense. God, that's bullshit. And words are what we want. Before. Before. Yeah, I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna see some alternate dialogue. Since I had to do this part over again anyway. What do you mean before? Why, when you become one of us, of course. Oh, you told me that I already. Can't have a Tell you? You're almost right. funny. We shall see, won't we? Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna run over here. I think these robots are going to help me fight you. Because they're not gonna fight me. Right, let's just get over here so that your friends can't interfere. Can I shoot you from here? Low chance, but let me just make a second save. I can't believe they make it so easy for me to just run away from you, even without sneak activated. Don't do it, you guys. Dumbasses. And here come the other mutants, all getting more turns than me. Oh, Katya actually died. Whatever. They're not even helping. They're like two damage, one damage. No, I am angry. I wonder if I can do his voice. Now I no, now I can't. No damage? What the hell? Hmm. And everyone here gets blown up. <laughs> well, you just got killed. Pretty sure that was an accident. Okay, this time... Gotta focus more on uh, Lieutenant's uh, guards before I focus on him. Can't believe how little damage I'm still doing. It seemed to me like I crit almost all the time. 
against the other super mutants with this thing. Oh, knocked him down. Okay, it takes care of all the goons. And the turn gets back up. Okay, let's walk four spaces over to here. And now I'm gonna make another save. Don't even care if Cat and Ian are dead. Missed. I can't believe that only does two damage. What are you wearing? Wounded and has crippled limbs. You know what? Let me switch weapons. To my sniper rifle. I'm gonna shoot you in the eyes. Four hit points. Hmm. Well, I have more chances to try that. One damage. But then it was critically hit in the left arm for 28 damage, striking a nerve and forcing the giant to grab his arm in pain. Maybe I'm just supposed to do that. Let's try targeting different parts of his body. 95% chance to hit the groin. Why not? <laughs> but then it was critically hit in the groin for 32 damage, striking a vital spot and knocking the giant to the ground. Oh my. Okay. 95% chance to hit the eyes. 60 damage. Nearly the bl nearly blinding the mutant before throwing him off balance. He's already prone. Wait, is he dead? Why why is there a, a use option? You cannot get there? You don't have enough action? What? Looks severely wounded and has crippled limbs. Well, he says he's severely wounded. So it should only be a matter of time before he's dead. I got another turn. Is he unconscious? 52 more damage. He was severely wounded. 52 damage wasn't enough to kill him. And various parts of him are crippled. Uh-oh. Here's a couple stim packs. Come on, let's finish him off. There we go, look at that. What? Oh. Oh my. Oh, uh... Lieutenant was critically hit in the eyes for 102 damage. Lieutenant was killed. What the fuck? Did you see that death animation? Jeez. I'm out of ammo for this thing. God damn it. I'm out of ammo for this thing too. Well, let's see what was on him. As soon as I end combat. 1975 experience. Something tells me that should have been worth more than that. What is this? Gatling laser. And an encryption decoder disc. Okay, what was in this locker? Okay, Tycho, looks like you're my only friend now. Save. Let's do some healing too. I'll heal you as well. Might as well. Unhurt. Okay. Lockpick. Gain 25 experience. Two pieces of dynamite and two stim packs. You know, this dynamite might be important. Is there anything in this bathroom? Anything hidden? Off screen? No? Okay. I still have a few more corpses to check. Ooh, I didn't see you there. Locked. Pick the lock. Yeah, I know it appears locked. So pick it. What are you doing? Oh, I'm hitting the wrong button. Two for lockpick. There we go. Three is steel. 
What is this? Key? Geiger counter? Electronic lockpick? And plastic explosives. Hmm. Well, I'm gonna take this. And I finally figured out what a Geiger counter is for. You know how it kept telling me when I went to the glow that I was getting different levels of radiation? Like 20 points this, 20 points that. The Geiger counter shows you your radiation level. And there are certain radiation thresholds. It telling me that I feel very nauseous. That doesn't get worse over time. And that's the lowest level of radiation. Apart from being completely not radiated at all. The Geiger counter is just to tell you when you should use right away. So it'd be useful if you were going to the glow and wanting to explore that whole place. But that place is like an optional super dungeon. You don't go there until you're done with everything else. I'm gonna take it anyway. A key, huh? And plastic explosives. Let me read this. A chunk of Cordex, a military brand of plastic explosives. Highly stable, very destructive, includes a timer. Just gonna take that too. Okay, so Ian, you had a lot of my stuff on you. So let me take back my stim packs. I can even take your armor when you're dead. Weird. I'm also going to take this back. Just in case I decide to go back to the glow and visit it after I'm done with this let's play. Okay, what was on Van Hagen? Because he died both times without giving me a chance to... Laser pistol. Now where is Katya in all this? She's got to be in this pile of corpses somewhere. Ah, oh, there you are. Yeah, and even though technically she wears a leather jacket, for some reason this leather jacket in particular, I, I don't know if it's the leather jacket itself or maybe just something unique with her character's stats, but she actually has the stats of somebody wearing combat armor. That's what I read anyway. But that's, and then I'm gonna explain why she doesn't die as easily as the others. Okay, I'm gonna take this gun and your ammo just in case. Because I'm running low on ammo, like, everywhere. Now, there's still more super mutants to deal with. Two elevators. This elevator is probably on the other side of the jails. And this is probably the broken one. So getting out of here is not going to be so easy. These guys are going to be easy. If I eventually have to kill them, they'll be easy. These last guys I'm worried about. But they're only normal super mutants. It's not like they're the lieutenant or anything. This should be easy to deal with. So, let's do it. I only got a couple more shots of my minigun left. And I can't turn these off. I can try. Cannot repair. No, okay. So, just gotta walk on through. Eight damage. It's not terrible. Okay, so I have sneak on. Let me get against the wall. Oh, nope, they spotted me. Wow, uh, I must have critically failed my sneak check. What if I just end combat now? I get against the wall and then end combat. Nope, okay. You can still see me. Moving in. Hmm. Okay, I guess this doorway doesn't block as much vision as I thought. No way, I can reload now. Why wouldn't it let me reload before? Eh, whatever. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. It's a good thing Mr. Handy over there isn't fighting me too. Let's see. Reload. Oh, I accidentally hit Mr. Handy. But he was hit for no damage. Good, hopefully it doesn't make him hostile. And there we go. End combat. Yay. Okay, now do you guys have any goodies for me? I also read that with a decent enough science skill... You can actually use that one computer on the first floor 
to jury rig a radio and you can use that radio as an item to disable the yellow barriers. As far as I was able to find out, there is no way to disable the red barriers. Uh, I don't know why. That's really annoying. Oh, more plastic explosives. Hmm. Wonder why these are around here so much. Let's talk to Mr. Handy. Let's talk to Mr. Handy. Talk to Miss. Why can't I talk to Mr. Handy? Maybe I have to repair him. Let me examine him. You see nothing out of the ordinary. The robot has been repaired, but it is still not functioning. You cannot repair that. Uh, how about a science check? Oh, here we go. Unit number 462 online. Self-test. Adjusting unit location data. Fixed. Rebuilding memory file. Fixed. Error. Task incomplete. Well, just do it and get out of my way. <laughs> what is your incomplete task? Unit number 462 is a cleaning model. Must finish cleaning and maintenance of this level. What do you have left to clean? Vat control room. End of list. <laughs> finish your task. Okie dokie. Restarting task. Where's it going? Why, why was my character so coy about that? Uh, you completely destroy the force field emitter and the force field dissipates. Mr. Handy was hit for 182 hit points and was killed. Um, huh. Okay. <laughs> Look at all this stuff he has on him. Holy crap. Minigun ammo. Oh, I don't have enough room for that. That's fine. Stim packs are weightless, though. No, you know what? Let me put this shit away. I don't need it. No space left for that. Yeah. I gotta tell you this stupid story. When I was trying to manage everyone's inventory, I ran into an extremely annoying bug with Katya's inventory. I had her down to carrying only a couple of items, like ammo and stem packs. That was it. That's all that was on her. She was previously carrying around a bunch more stuff. I took everything from her, and every time I tried to add anything, no matter how weightless, it would tell me there's no space left for that item. It's just a bug that's plagued my save file. And I was told, not until long after I'd started this Let's Play, mind you, that there was a fan-made patch that fixes most of these issues. I don't know, maybe the game would have been way, way more enjoyable if these bugs didn't exist, but they turned an otherwise great game into a nightmare. I, I hate to say it, but these bugs make this game, they just barely balance it to the point of being unfun. It, it would have been great without the bugs, and I'm sure eventually down the line I'll probably play this game again with the patch on and have a much better time of it. <sighs> oh well, that ammo will be there in case I need it. Let's see. Fuck you guys. Let's talk to you. What? What the? You killed the right hand of God. The master will be most upset now that it has come time for us to join the holy flame. Wait, did he just kill himself? I think he just killed himself. Why wouldn't you... You wouldn't kill an unarmed man, would you? Would you? No. Let's talk. Let's specifically select the talk option. <laughs> what the fuck? Why are they all killing themselves? He killed himself so hard that he slid all the way to the other wall. This game is hilariously bad sometimes. Now are any of them carrying anything important? What's this? Security card. Now, let me take a quick look at that hollow disk that I got 
from the lieutenant. Use. Downloading data from disk. Okay. Vault lo Wait. No, that's not it. Regulator transmission? Is this it? Wait, no, this isn't it. Ah, that's weird. Either that's a copy of a hollow disk I've already used, or it didn't work. Hmm. Weird. Okay, let's check out this computer. You try to use the computer, but are unable to get any useful information out of it. Let's do a science check. You managed to get an interface screen out of the VATS control computer. You try to use the computer, but the system is too complex for you to understand easily. You'll have to keep trying. <sighs> uh, nothing's working. Whatever. Well, I got a security card. Well, this is the only computer that has a unique name. These are all Mach 4 computers. This one just says computer. Same for this one. This one's the VATS control computer. Maybe repair? Cannot repair that. Maybe there's something in my inventory I can use on it. Maybe the security card? Oh wait, that's not a hollow disk. That's an encryption decoder disk. Maybe I can use it here. No. Security card does nothing either. Hmm. Well, I came in here for a reason, right? To get the security card? Hmm. Well, what do I do now? Hmm. I guess I take the elevator and leave? Let me check my pip boy real quick. Oh, it still doesn't say my quests are complete. Hmm. Hmm, now where is that- oh, you're still alive. Flip. Hmm, okay. Well, let's go talk to- what's your name? Sarah. What are you doing out of your protective cell? I'm not a prisoner here. Ah. Uh, really? God, you're useless. Okay, let's talk to Flip. We meet again. You will not escape me this time. Uh-oh. Okay, looks like I have to kill you now. Whatever. You're just one guy. Let me use my sniper rifle. And miss, of course. What? 52 damage. Hmm. God damn it. Okay, let's try this again. There we go. <sighs> don't know what else I could have done. I don't know. Maybe now Sarah will say something useful. Nope. God, what am I supposed to do now? Uh, you know what? I, I'm, I'm done. I'm just gonna look it up. Great, great, I love cryptic bullshit. Let's go back down to the fourth floor. So, the one unique computer is technically the one that you're supposed to use. But, if your science skill just happens to not be high enough for it to work, then you can also use a different computer. Said it was the second one from the bottom. I don't know. System seems to have locked up. What do you mean, second one from the bottom? You mean this one? Seems as though the system is in a reboot status. I don't know what, what you want from me. <laughs> now, this computer works. Display security codes. Attempt to hack the firewall to get more data. Display security code encryption table. You have successfully hacked into the encryption table. Command? One minute silent self-destruct sequence. Set base to alert. Three minutes self-destruct sequence and set base to alert. Executing. Okay. I'm gonna make a second save and now we're running out. We are going. This is the reason it wants you to kill everything in the above floors, so that they don't slow you down. Now, I wonder if Sarah is going to join us. You know, we probably could have done that, and maybe both of them would have run away. 200... 280 seconds? Yeah. Oh, that ticks down a lot slower than I thought it would. I thought it would be in real time. 
Okay, gotta walk through this. Also, supposedly that disables the yellow gates. I don't know for sure. Oh, looks like it did. 257 seconds. Okay, now all I gotta do is get out of here before the place explodes. And hopefully Tycho won't be an asshole. There you go. So, Tycho, how does it feel to be my one surviving ally? Dogmeat's dead, Ian's dead, Katya's dead. They're all dead. You're the only one left. Never thought it'd be you. There it goes. I guess those plastic explosives weren't needed. Come to think of it, that Mr. Handy... Mr. Handy was able to just blow up one of the gate emitters. Could I have just destroyed them? Oh, why is my mouse all flickery? Let's go back in. Let's see what happened. Oh wow, that place is demolished. Look at that. This is not a natural occurrence. You've gone up a level, you gained 10,000 experience points. Wow, okay. 115 hit points, level 17. Yep, let's just boost that all the way up. There we go. Yep, uh, looks like we're done here. Fucking paladins never showed up. Now, what does my status say? Destroy the source of the mutants. Destroy the mutant leader is still incomplete. Yep, so let's go to Vault 13 real quick and report this. And then maybe we'll figure something out. Uh oh. Oh, just these guys? Uh, it's not a problem. The Ganglion. Heh. Oh, they're ganging up on him. I better just run away. There we go. Oh god damn, it's gonna throw a million random encounters at us before we get the chance to escape. What? Really? 117 damage. Your life. From a surprise attack. Game, you're all you've already broken through the thin ice and drowned. Don't don't struggle. You're just gonna make things worse. Fine. I guess I gotta escape from here again. I wanna try something. No, I can't attack the emitters. They don't count as creatures. Okay, never mind. Okay, I'm out. I'm alive. Tycho is too. Now I'm just gonna overwrite my original save. And now I don't have to do that part over again. Luckily, I can skip that scene. I'll worry about leveling up later. Let's just get back to Vault 13. <sighs> well, if anything, that still... Uh, that at least proves that super mutants don't stop appearing on the world map after the military base is destroyed. Hey, mole rats. I got a new trick I want to show you. See, let me just angle myself, like, right here. Bam! See that? It's a cool trick, ain't it? Oh, I think I actually am out of ammo for this thing now. Hmm. Oh well, I'm almost done anyway. Let, let, let me save on this map real quick. So I've been told that Fallout 2 is significantly better. In what ways, I have not been told. But I'm inclined to believe them. Almost there. Now, I'm not sure what they're gonna tell me to do after I've gone here. Okay, there we go. Vault 13. Command center. Let me just put my gun away. Let me put my big gun away. Since I'm low on ammo for it anyway. Wait, where is everyone? Oh. Uh, hmm. There's significantly fewer people here than I expected. It's just 
You and the overseer. Where's the girl who's usually there? Or the guy who's usually there? Huh. Weird. Did I show up at a weird time? What time is it? It's almost midnight. Okay, well, there's that. Overseer, do you ever sleep? What news of the mutants? The mutant vats have been destroyed. What about the mutant leader? What about this so-called master? As far as I know, he's still alive. He must be stopped. If not, he could rebuild his empire of mutants and would certainly strike back at us. The vault will not be safe until the master is dead. Okay, so you're going to tell me where to find him? What if I talk to you again? Is the mutant leader taken care of? He will be. Soon. Well, that's, that's, that's great. That's very good. You sound like you're in control out there. Please, finish this up soon so that you and I can... When you're out there, remember, the people of the vault know you've saved them. What were you about to get at? You so you and I can what? Are you proposing to me? I hate to tell you this, but I already found my true love. It's in my pocket. It's nice and big and phallic. Almost out of ammo, though. That's okay. I know a guy. Yeah, everyone's... Well, I guess they're not gone. I guess they're all just sleeping. Also, apparently... Apparently... You get extra experience points if you kill all of the rats in the Vault 13 cave. Like, it gives you a bonus. That's like an unwritten side quest. Uh, I never ever thought to do that, because rats are just worth so few experience and they weren't really getting in my way. Eh. Okay, so I'm not really totally certain what to do. Uh, let's try visiting the Brotherhood of Steel. Maybe they'll know something now that I've taken out the military base. No thanks to them. Well, they did let me in so I can get my power armor, so there's that. So, since I've blown up the military base, does this mean the time limit is gone? The 13 year time limit? I don't know. So many random encounters, jeez. Three of them have been against a single rad scorpion. There. Just gonna head straight down to level 4, put my gun away. Let's go talk to old what's his name? Maxon, I believe. What do you got? I've been to the mutant base in the north. Let's just say they are no longer a threat. Good. Anything else you need to ask? That's it? Good. Good. You... You blew up a multi-tiered stronghold consisting of some of the most powerful enemies in the game. Good. Can I ask you some questions? Yeah. Fire away. Then get up. Fuck you. Up. Fuck you. Fine, let's go talk to that one high odor. Who apparently has a name. I don't think it's ever been told to us. Yeah, this one here. Good work with the mutants. We already heard that you destroyed their production facility. Thanks for taking care of that problem for us. Three of my friends are dead. Tell me about... Master. Never heard of it. Of course you haven't. Why, why wouldn't you have heard about it? Why, why would you be useful in the slightest? Telling me you're gonna send three paladins and then not? People are so goddamn useless. Your only point was to give me this armor. Can't even talk to you without getting kicked out. Okay, let me just look up to see what I gotta do next. Okay, so turns out the thing to do was actually not that obvious, but the hints were there. The key that I picked up off of Morpheus's body, the one that opens that back door, the nightkin that always attacks me, there is a way to get him not to attack me, and he's guarding something. There is something in that room, so that's where I have to go. But before I go anywhere, I need to go buy more ammo for my minigun. So, to the hub. And if they don't have ammo there, then I'll just go to the junk... Wait, not junkyard, um... Boneyard. Hub. Old Town. I always arrive at night. 
So I gotta walk over here and wait for daytime. I have so much money. So much money. I didn't even have to try to get this much money. But now I got more ammo for my minigun, so that's good. Okay, my next stop is gonna be the Boneyard. Gotta pay Zack a visit. Get even more ammo. That's all I really need at this point is just ammo. Because I have tons of stem packs. More than enough. And if what I've heard is correct... Um... Okay, good scorpion. If what I've heard is correct, then I'm going to have to tackle this last dungeon, because the military base was not the final dungeon. There's more to this cathedral than meets the eye. I'm going to have to tackle this place alone. Okay. We're so close to being done. I'm going to stop at the entrance. Wait for it to be daytime. I'm going to put on my robes. And unfortunately, Tycho, this is where you and I must part ways. I think it's time... Actually, first, let me check your inventory. See if you've got anything I might need on you. Or all, you have all of my healing items. Like radiation and stuff. But I don't have enough room. Eh, it's fine. You can hold on to it. I'll be back for you later. I remember where I met you. Junk town, right? Yep. I think it's time to part ways. An honor and a pleasure. Yep, so... Let's do this. And still no one has noticed that Morpheus is dead, huh? Hmm. You know what I never did after killing Morpheus? Talk to Lasher. I just wanted to talk. Beasts chatter without meaning. Human beings think first and then they talk. You must evolve into a human being before I will wish to speak... Speak you. Be gone. Yeah, maybe you need to do a bit of evolving too, huh? Okay, so here's the trick. If you walk into this door while alone, wearing the purple robes and unarmed, then supposedly the night kid in here will not attack you. You also have to make sure to actually use the key and not pick the lock. You unlock the door. Yeah, here we go. There's a staircase there. Leave me or die. I just wanted to compliment you on the great looking hump on your back. Your breath could use some work though. Could you direct me to the man in charge? Do you not listen? It is unwise to ignore the nightkin. You're supposed to be tough or something? Nobody's ever accused me of being wise. <laughs> I'm sorry. Have a good day. Okay, whatever. As long as I have this disguise, I should be fine, right? Yeah, so some kind of library. Hmm, what's this? Big Book of Science. Might as well... Uh, no, I can't pick it up. I'm at my maximum capacity, completely and utterly. Okay, whatever. Okay, so what I read was that there was a bookshelf, possibly booby-trapped, that we need to examine. You fumbled the bookcase for a moment, but you failed to accomplish anything. Okay. You take a book down, examine it, and quickly replace it on the shelf. The shelf itself seems very sturdy. Uh, lockpick? You find a hidden latch. The wall next to the bookshelf quietly slides out of the way. And there we go. Ooh, centaurs and floaters. Couple of super mutants up. Oh, it's a vault. Who are you? Jeremiah, a messenger for the children. Where are you going? Are you coming to see me? Should I wait? Wait, where have I heard that name before? Jeremiah. Oh, he's definitely coming to see me. Sorry. They're not attacking him. How unusual. Hmm. I guess they're not wild creatures. Oh, he's just ignoring me. Let's talk to him. Excuse me, sister. You startled me. How may I serve the master? What are you doing? Transferring the reports, of course. Reports of what, if I may ask? Yep, that's probably not a good idea. That is all, thank you. How about I just go ahead and make a second save? Reports of what, if I may ask? I transfer the human purity reports for the surrounding areas, but you should know this. Who are you? 
It's none of your business who I am. Just answer my questions. I was sent here by Morpheus with a message for the Master. Please forgive me. I apologize for questioning you. Please carry on about your business, and if I can be of any service, let me know. Well, the monsters didn't attack him, so maybe they won't attack me. Freaky. I know speak to you. Halt, what is your business here, child? I'm, uh, doing stuff. Don't talk to me, big boy. I'm on important business you have no right to stop and question me. Uh, hmm. None of these sound like wise answers. Don't talk to me, big boy. I will not be spoken to that way. You will be punished. Fuck! All of those sounded like stupid replies. Let me just load. Let's try that again. In fact, how about let's not talk to him at all this time, eh? Nope, oh, nope, never mind. I'm on important business. You have no right to stop and question me. You may pass, but next time, follow the proper procedure. Blessing to you, brother. Okay. You gain 750 experience of bluffing your way past the guards. Really? Okay. Hmm. Oh, well, here's the medical bay. There's no living creatures in there. What about this terminal? <laughs> Wait. What was that? You see a computer, you see some pieces that might be human flesh. Okay. You see vent. You see VDU. The video display unit. Blah, blah, blah. Nothing important. I guess we'll just go straight for the command center. Ah, oh, jeez, look at this place. There's bits of blown up fleshy goo everywhere. A couple of Mr. Handies. Who are you? A viscous... Okay, his name is Vicious. A super mutant leader. He looks mean. Let's, uh, leave him alone then. Bunch of super mutants that don't have any descriptions. Hmm. What's that? An elevator? An elevator to where? Oh. Mm, the command center isn't over here. Technician. Looking diligently for the unity and the master. Working dig diligently. Why isn't anyone cleaning up this goo? Hmm. Alright, uh, let's... Check out the second floor. Before I go to that other elevator. Oh my, this is very different. There's prisoners. Hmm. Vincent. He is guarding the sleeping mads? A mad scientist, working diligently on something. You see more, a scruffy looking fellow. He is wearing a crown. A crown? Lucy, a normal looking human female, also wearing a crown? Wiggum, a complete loser, wearing a crown. Gideon, a normal looking human, wearing a crown. What the hell? Why do they all have names? Super Mutant Sergeant. Well, let me make another save. And let's go have a chat with these scientists. Good evening, sister. What brings you to our little corner of heaven? What might you be doing here? The master's truth is revealed, resulting in increased psychic ability, shakes his head. But the poor souls become terminally insane and must be sequestered and nullified to keep them from harming themselves or others. Oh, how thoughtful of you. What? That's the most ludicrous thing I've ever heard. Who are you, really? <laughs> I already told you I've been sent by the master to check up on you. I beg your forgiveness, ma'am. How may I be of service? Well, that was easy. Alright then, so how's it going? It's not going well. I've been injecting the FEV directly into the pineal gland, but I'm not getting the results I'd hoped for. The FEV is that virus, right? Why don't you try injecting it into the medulla? What an intriguing idea. I must try it at once. Uh, where are you keeping the failed experiments? In a room northwest of here. Is there anything else I can help you? Thanks for your help. Bye. Hmm. I'm just watching the mads. Don't talk to me. Hmm, you know, I can probably... Let me sneak. Are these broken? Force field emitter. Can I... Fiddle with these? Cannot repair that. I ought to learn anything. There must be a way to turn these off. Maybe one of these monitors? 
The amount of goo on this computer makes it very difficult to access. You fiddle with the computer for a moment, but you cannot get past the security systems. You gain tr- You find an interesting data file on a secret base to the northwest. You gain 1250 experience for hacking into this computer. I've already been there and destroyed it. Well, I guess I'll save again. Experience is experience. Especially 1200. That's all they tell me. Hmm. Okay, well, why don't we go talk to said failed experiments? They all have names. Let's see, Gideon. Jason is a living god. Only the nullified may pass. Who's Jason? Jason? Who's Jason? Uh, yeah, are you the experiments I'm looking for? The walls also have mines. I saw you tomorrow? Great, how do I join? You cannot kill the genius of the all. You have. I don't want to kill, I want to worship. I will anoint you. I must give you what I must not. Anoint? Anoint me with what? You gain a thousand experience points for convincing the Psyker to give you a nullifier. What the fuck am I doing? What the hell is a nullifier? Psychic nullifier? A strange device constructed from odd technology. It weighs three pounds. Uh, can I equip it? Hmm. Wiggum. Whatever. Lucy. There is no place like home. No place like home. No place like home. Pacing back and forth. What about this place? Isn't this your home? My home is, uh, yeah, here. Yeah, it's here. This is my home. She jumps up and down. I'm so happy. You can't believe how happy this makes me. I think I'm going to punch the wall for a while. Well, I don't see you punching the wall. I'm busy. I almost have the solution to the environmental problems fucking this world over, but I can't stop thinking about purple dinosaurs. Is this a problem? Okay. More. The asphalt shall run red. I will crush. What are you talking about? Only the powerful can pass, but they will be kept from passing. Can you show me how? Exactly. Uh, okay. I will stop the master. The master gave me the power. No, wait, no. I will stop the motor. What motor? Exactly. Of course, I understand completely. Only the powerful can pass, but they were kept from passing. But I have to see the master. Gideon. Gideon speaks the way. I already spoke to Gideon. He... yeah. Hmm. Whatever. That was weird. I'm, I take it I'm supposed to get that thing. Let's try going in here. We must pray to be strong. The change is almost upon us. I believe in the master. His will is our salvation. The unity will prevail if we are strong. Meditate on the quality of strength. Our mission to save humanity requires faith. Pray with us. No, thank you. I'm just gonna go over here. Yes, little sister. What is it that you need from me? Praise to the unity, brother. Praise to the unity. Um, how about you? Uh, nope, same thing. Hmm. Okay. Not sure what to do here. I, I didn't realize there'd be so much of this place. Alright. Now we'll go through this room over here. Wait, can I talk to you? The will of the master prevails. What news do you have for me? The only news that I have is that you're about to become fertilizer. Uh, the war goes well. Your mana betrays you, intruder. I will end the threat here. Wow. That was fast. So don't even talk to him. Load. Okay, so walk in here. Can I talk to any of you? Uh, no, you all say the same thing. Praise to the unity. Door is locked. Um, maybe I have the key? Let's try this. Nope. Let's try the red one. Nope. 
Let's try this thing. This thing labeled key. Nope. How about this? Nope. Okay. There's no way to get in there. Unless one of these guys maybe has the key and I need to pickpocket it from them? Probably not. Uh, let's go talk to these guys over here. But not you. I'm done talking to you. So none of these computers are usable, right? Because they're covered in goo. We do the work of the master. And yeah, none of them talk. Okay, what the hell are those things? I know these are Mr. Handy units, but what are these? No peace, no peace. What the fuck? What are these things? It stopped giving me descriptions of things that I hovered my mouse over a while ago. I don't know why. Load. I'm so confused. I don't know what to do. I'm gonna look it up. I'm just gonna keep the walkthrough open. Okay, well... It didn't say anything about the locked door blocking the way to the elevator, so I'm assuming... Maybe I can just pick it? I don't know if I tried that. I was afraid to try that with everybody watching me. Oh, I unlocked the door. Well, that was easy. And none of them got pissed. Whatever. Door is locked. Again? Oh, there. I unlocked it. 100 lockpicking skill, bitch. Now, supposedly, something that's supposed to happen when we get down here is, uh... We're supposed to, like... Like, take damage or see some kind of message saying that our head hurts and then our intelligence and perception scores both take a dip. But as long as we have this item, this uh, nullifier that we were given. Yeah, this thing. Psychic nullifier. As long as we have that, then it doesn't affect us. There's also a perk you can take that does the same thing. But it's only going to be useful for this one part of the game. Why would anyone ever take that perk? I don't get it. You see a nuclear warhead. Yep. Super mutant sergeants. Okay. I'm gonna make another save. Door's locked. Of course it's locked. What is it that you need from me? Praise to the unity, brother. Yeah, don't worry about me. Oh. <laughs> and then they turn on me as soon as I examine that. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Load. I think it's time to go on the offensive. Equip my power armor and my minigun. Reload. Let's do this. Okay. Wait, no, I can't target you while the door's opening. Or from this vantage point? Okay, here we go. Not dead, huh? That's fine. Let me just move on back. And turn. You will suffer. Suffer great. Yeah, whatever. Let me switch to my sniper rifle, and I'm gonna shoot you in the eyes. Now that I'm close enough to admire them. 17 damage, is that all? Uses a super stim pack. Hmm. There we go. Instant death. Next I'll switch to my minigun. End of my turn. Now let's see what you do. Ow, I will take care of you myself. Yeah, we'll see. Super stim pack, and then you just punch me. For 15 damage though, god damn. Okay, shoot you in the eyes. 26 damage. Hmm. 
Reload and turn. Another super stim pack. Shoot you in the head. Hmm. Only 11 damage. This isn't quite working. Get this back out. Open my inventory, heal myself. Hmm. I just noticed that it took me three action points to access the inventory. So if that perk doesn't work, whatever. There we go. Now you're dead. Reload this. Reload that. Check your bodies. Super stim packs? Nah. Don't need any of these things. Okay, now let's check this out. The computer is labeled Atomic Access Computer. There are cables running from the access computer to the warhead behind it. Okay, so here's what I'm gonna do. First, I'm going to put my rifle away. Then I'm going to put the purple robes back on. Okay. Then I'm going to make a third save, just in case killing those two guards somehow alerts everybody in the base. Then, what you gotta do is you gotta use the key that we got at the military base on this thing. The one that the lieutenant had? This thing. 240 seconds. Let's go. Let's get out of here. A timer with four minutes has started a countdown. Yeah, so we weren't able to rescue the prisoners, but... Eh, whatever. There's lots of different ways that you can go about this. Lots of different ways. With a high enough speech skill and enough evidence, you can actually convince the master, who we never met, unfortunately. It wasn't Morpheus. He was just a second-hand guy. You can actually convince the master not to go through with the war, because... He thinks that he's going to evolve everybody into, um... Hmm? Wait, you talk to me? I'm... Wait. No one to talk to me. Okay, thanks. See you around. <laughs> okay. Yeah, but... He thinks he's going to evolve everybody into super mutants in order to make the world a better place, but... What he doesn't realize is that super mutants are sterile. And you can find a hollow disk somewhere in the world that explains this. And if you show it to the the master, then he'll realize that if mutants are sterile, then eventually everyone's just going to go extinct if there's no one but super mutants left. Uh, Tycho, you're still here? Uh, then come with me. Come with me. Come on, baby. We're, we're, we're getting out of here. And boom. <sighs> that was an overcomplicated mess. <sighs> the death of the Master was the first major step towards ending his mad dream of conquest and enforced peace. But, it is the destruction of the Vats that neutralizes the mutant threat. Without the ability to create more mutants and enforce their harsh brand of justice, the mutant armies flee to the east, beyond the no-man's land. The mutant attack on Necropolis spares none of its ghoulish inhabitants. After the mutant armies advance, they leave a truly dead city behind them. The mutant armies, led into battle by the fierce super mutants, destroy the followers of the apocalypse. Barely human carrion feeders pick over the followers' remains. The mutant army marches as far north as Shady Sands, raising the small town to the ground. Killian Darkwater takes firm control of Junktown, drives out the last of Gizmo's kind, and then enforces his own brand of frontier justice. Life is fair and safe under his law. 
The Brotherhood of Steel helps the other human outposts drive the mutant armies away with minimal loss of life on both sides of the conflict. The advanced technology of the Brotherhood is slowly reintroduced into New California, with little disruption or chaos. The Brotherhood wisely remains out of the power structure, and becomes a major research and development house. The hub disperses before the might of the mutant army and will never recover. Thanks to your persistence, the Raiders are destroyed as an effective fighting force and disband. None of the Raider survivors are ever heard from again. Your involvement with the various places and people of the Wasteland is well documented by future historians. Only a single question remained unanswered. What happened to you? You've done it. That's wonderful, amazing. I'm so proud of what you've accomplished, what you've endured. Okay, before I move on, that ending apparently has like a lot of different ways that it can go. I just visited the hub before I went to the cathedral. Uh, what's supposed to happen is... Uh, hmm. May maybe only the towns that you... Maybe only the areas that you complete. Areas where there are no side quests left to do. Get spared. I don't know. I, I always thought that it has something to do with how long it took you to beat the game. Like, if you waited too long, they'd eventually go out to Junk Town and Shady Sands. But I thought I completed Shady Sands. And I already happen to know that Shady Sands canonically is supposed to survive. So, I guess I just kind of get a neutral ending. Well, anyway. There's no way the people of the Vault can ever thank you enough for what you've done. You've saved all our lives. Who knows? Maybe even save the human race. <sighs> yes. That makes the rest of this even harder. I know it's coming. I talked about this in the very beginning of the game. He's going to exile me from the vault forever, isn't he? This always happens. Pretty much every Fallout game ends up with you being exiled from your home. Everyone will want to talk to you. Every youngster will look up to you and want to emulate you. And then what? They'll want to leave. What happens to the vault if we lose the best of a generation? What if we are the only safe place in the world? You just gave us back all these lives. I can't take the chance of losing them. <sighs> made a lot of tough decisions since I took this position, but none of them harder than this one. You saved us, but you'll kill us. I'm sorry. You're a hero, and you have to leave. Hmm. At least you actually sound sorry. That bitch in Fallout 3 didn't sound sorry at all. So yeah, that's it. What? Well, I didn't do that. My character just killed him. What? What? Um, 
Shouldn't I have had some kind of choice in that matter? Is that the extra part of the ending that you get for taking that one trait? The one where you apparently always see the worst possible way someone can die? Okay then, <laughs> I have nothing to say. That rendered me completely speechless. That, that kind of rem that reminded me of the ending to uh, Undertale's genocide route. <sighs> okay, so final thoughts on Fallout 1. It could have been a masterpiece. It could have been. It's a fun game, but it's got such a steep learning curve it doesn't really tell you that you can do half of the things you can do, like using trap checks in order to set traps with the dynamite and shit, or using science checks on computers in order to hack into them when they're otherwise just objects in the environment that don't do anything. Things that you can never ever see unless your speech skill just happens to be high enough. Scenes and events that you can't see unless you have at least six points in the luck score. As, I mean, it's fine to have a game that has secrets like that, but you have to build an entire playthrough around each of those secrets. You have to play one game where your speech is high, you have to play one game where your luck is high. And there's no way you'd be able to figure that out on your own, not without a lot of repeated play of this game. And after you've played the game enough times, what is there left to see, really? There's very, very few locations in this game. I, I was expecting there to be something like randomly generated dungeons that you happen upon in the wilderness. Just full of lockers and leveled encounters, enemies that you're capable of handling for your level, but there was none of that in this game. There was no leveled enemies. You could run into the strongest enemies in the game at level 1, and you continue to run into the weakest enemies in the game at max level. Which is fine if you want to build a realistic world, but that just makes the game extremely unforgiving. I mean, you just saw in this episode, I walked into a random encounter, was critically hit by a super mutant on the first turn, and lost. Then there's no way to control your companions, there's no way to send dog meat home, there's no real way to defend your allies short of becoming a tank and putting yourself between them and the enemy, which is what I had to do most of the time. Once I got my power armor, I was the tank. The whole reason I took the sniper rifle in the first place was so that I could be in the back and shoot enemies from a safe distance. But if I wanted my companions to survive, that was no longer an option. So, I was a tank with a sniper rifle who shot people in the eyes at point-blank range. That's what I ended up having to be in order to be even remotely effective at this game. And the bugs. There's so very many bugs. I don't know if it's just the Steam version or what, but a lot of the bugs I ran into seemed so commonplace that you'd think somebody on the Interplay development team would have noticed them at some point and fixed them. I mean, they had playtesters, right? I have been looking at the credits. If there were playtesters, I missed them. But I'm assuming there were. But look how many people worked in this game. And they got a lot of famous voice actors for this game too, which surprised me. Man, these credits are slow. And there were a lot of, um, a lot of quality of life stuff that probably could have been, um, enhanced too, like inventory management for starters. Uh, it was so buggy on its own as it was, just being allowed to hold more than you are capable of carrying just because people handed them to you. I mean, later, Elder Scrolls and Fallout games would make it so that if you become over-encumbered, which is a thing that you could willingly do, then it would either significantly slow you down or prevent you from moving at all. 
it, it wouldn't it wouldn't inconvenience your inventory management by not letting you put things on your inventory. And then there are so many useless skills and perks in this game, I don't even know what Outdoorsman does. I, I even checked its article on one of the Fallout wikis, it didn't provide any information. There are no events, there's no dialogue, there's no items to find in relation to Outdoorsman. I, if I had to guess, I'd say it increased your chances. Oh, Keith David. I know Keith David. Huh. I'd say it increases your chances of running into special random encounters. And that's probably it. Yeah, Cree Summer is the voice of Tandy. Additional voice work by Max the Dog. I'm assuming he voiced Dogmeat and all of the random dogs. And then there's Maybe, the classic 50s style song that they typically use in all the Fallout games. They love using those old 50s style songs, but the weird thing about those songs is I thought that they used them, wait, used by permission of Emmy Robbins? Oh. Oh, okay. So that's not a fair use song. Hmm. No wonder that my, no wonder the first episode of this Let's Play got demonetized. Not that I have to worry about that anymore since I'm no longer a YouTube partner. YouTube changed their rules, so... I was so excited to become a YouTube partner, and as soon as I receive it, they rip it away from me. And now I have to multiply my subscriber count by a hundred times in order to get that back. They won't even let me post a link to my Patreon and my outros anymore. You probably noticed. Instead, it's just a link to my YouTube channel's main page. <sighs> it's so annoying. It made me really depressed when that happened. It didn't affect anybody. Yeah, fuck them. Wait, what? X Files, Xena, Buffy, The Simpsons, and the last-minute talking dog for finding that damn bug. I guess must been special thanks, like things that they uh, are enjoying during development, or maybe things that were inspiration. And that's it. There are no more credits. Stop looking. Fallout was brought to you by Interplay Productions. Team Fallout and the letter Q. Have a nice day. And that's it. Fallout 1, everybody. It's over. So yeah, if you've made it to the end, then you probably already know all of my opinions regarding this game. This game... I... For all its flaws... It's still fun. I can't really say much more than that. I'm sure it'll be way more fun with the patch, which I am going to go install probably as soon as I'm done editing. I'll probably have some fun with this game tonight. But as far as the Let's Play is concerned, it's over. So, as for what's going to be happening in the future. I'm not going to be doing any more single player let's plays for a little while. I need to take a break to get my shit together. The 2P stuff is still going to be going on, you don't got to worry about that. When I resume, I will be playing Final Fantasy VI. And after that, we'll be playing whatever game you guys voted for on the polls. And I got an idea for how I want to change how the polls are done. That's going to be the last poll hosted on straw poll for now i want to try something new so we'll see how that goes and i'm sorry to make you guys wait so long for the ending to this let's play i'm gonna to have to make you guys wait again or just in the next one but i just gotta take care of some things so i hope you all forgive me so thank you all so very much for watching this let's play if you enjoyed it please leave a comment because comments make me happy and if you want to support this channel the best way you can do that is to share this video and shout outs to my patreon supporters king ironside and kaze shoni your support means everything to me it really does so i'll see you all in the next video and now we're a moogle well we're dressed as a moogle oh my god i feel my inner furry taking over i must be with my kind Wow, you are really excited. Uh, so are we doing this thing or what? Worst furry convention ever. <laughs>